Hi guys, it's Emma. Today I'm going to do a flip through of journal number uh, five. It's not labeled yet. I'm going to label it in a couple of minutes. Uh, I finished this yesterday or today. Uh, yeah, yesterday. Because this is going up on the 28th and I finished the 27th. Uh, it has a. This is my Wonder Woman sticker. Um, Hobby Lobby. This front pocket was kind of like where I put everything during this time, and I'm going to take this out shortly. Um, but it's the number of stickers I've used on my journals to on the since the 20, like I have it dated. Um, Christmas in Heaven is a song by Scotty McCreary. I'm going to pull this back because the cover is breaking off. Um, but this, I was feeling lonely on Christmas and I missed some people. Um, it stops right here. This is just a note and I like these stickers. This journal didn't get nearly as thick because I didn't have enough sticker, all these stickers in there. These are my favorite Christmas cookies. Um, this is also a list of what I got for Christmas. I didn't get much, but I'm 23 years old. I didn't, I'm almost 24. 24 in like six days. Five, six days, so. There's in a bit, and there's a little note with cookies, and it says cards are attached, which I have to attach them. Um, Ten Toes Down Challenge by Ricky Deaton. Um, if I write something, like lyrics, they usually have a meaning to me, and a lot of them will go with, like, past relationships. But this one had to do with my childhood. Or before I was adopted. Um, and the home life there. Um, there's more of it. It's all the same song. But this pen ran out. Or so I thought. Um, there's the rest of it. And then I covered it in washi tape. Because I'm trying to get rid of this washi tape. I actually succeeded. This is all the washi tape I have left. And not as many as some people. I will show you that after I get done. Um. But Marilyn, and it says Marilyn Monroe. It doesn't have a date on it because that's not the important one. Um, then I did this one about pink sparkles. And yes, there is a picture of the Kardashians. She loves the Kardashians. Um, or at least at this point in time, she does. Um, I drew that. That's the YouTube logo. And she's obsessed with Hello Kitty, but for some reason, Minnie Mouse reminds me of her in her childish ways. So, and bows. She likes bows. Uh, Marilyn Monroe. I wrote about how smart she actually was and some other stuff. And then I wrote about my connection to her and that little thing. And then this is all her movies. One, two. Um, there's the rest. Oh, this long list. And there's a picture of her. I have pictures on both things. This is the YouTubers I watch. This has actually changed. Maybe it hasn't gone up. And everyone has... The number of subscribers, even though sometimes it's not exactly. I thought that was weird. My. It, yeah, you can see it. It, like. I don't know. There's more. Um. There's the last part of it. If I put where I, who I am now, I'd be down to here. I love this pattern, though. It's like this way. It's all the same washi. And I still, do I have more? Yes, I do. This was the first time I'd ever used this washi. I needed to cover the page. I was like, yes. Things I first watched, the first month on Netflix, it's all here. I tried to do all purple, but it didn't work. Um, pops I want, this is also, I'm going to have to add more to this list. Um... A wish list of stuff I want for my birthday. There's stuff I added to that I want to add to it. Now, for the fun part, one of the longest entries is my current playlist. There's the first page, second and third page. It started to fall out, so I washed it. Um, again, this entry is one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, and then ten, and t basically eleven pages. Eleven pages, guys. 
Um, then I did a cousin for a picture page for my cousin. I will quickly show you that. And then her name is underneath this, her full name. So, um, a YouTube baby update about Brittany and Baby's baby. I started doing this when all my favorite YouTubers having babies. Um, next is a page about Diana. I love her. She's with her kids. You know, it's just a picture of her. It says Princess Diana, 1961 to 1997. Has the UK flag. Um, and instead of a dash, I put a heart. I love her. Um, I put a butterfly because I believe butterflies like are signs. Um, I started to put. I wrote some feelings, then I wrote sort of writing her. I'm about to finish one of the things on my. Um, there's the rest of it. There's the ending of her timeline. Ends with her death. And then. Her personal thoughts. And like what I thought of her. Um, I wrote a letter. And then this. These. I didn't think about it until like a couple when I was going through this journal um, when she passed away and I can't do it because I'm watching Netflix on the side um, but um, when she died there was a lot of outside of Kensington Palace or the Buckingham Palace one of the palaces that, I think it's the one she lived at Kensington there was a large probably thousands and thousands of thousands of flowers left for her. And of course, I was a story at the time. Didn't even know she existed. My grandfather, like, this is like, I was three years old, guys. But I wanted to kind of, like, make my own, like, bouquet for her and put it all over the book. So that's why the butterfly's there. And then I have two. I have one in each corner. And they're different flowers. And then at the bottom, I have all of these. I have six flowers. And they're just cut into the corner of the page. Um, this is a purpose. It's called a purpose poem. You can read that really quick. Um, but I was doing some reflection about my purpose in life. I never really came up with an answer. Um, political. Just gonna show you this because you know who I voted for. Um, some quotes, and then some more quotes that are actually quotes. This was the day that he got elected, and I found it funny. Okay, one of my favorite quotes before I do this is, um, maybe the two worlds we lived in weren't so different. We saw the same sunset. It is from The Outsiders, which I have the book for over in my bookcase, but I was, I read that one in high school, and it I under I know where this part is from, and I can visualize that movie scene in the movie because it's a movie too. Um, check that movie and book out; it's good if you're into like eighties, nineties, but it's based in like the fifties, sixties. It's it, it's 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 definitely a look at life. Um, there's some more. This is from Connor Prince's book. It goes all the way up here, but this one is the most telling, and I, I didn't realize what day I wrote this on. I had to go back and check. Um, it's, we realize the importance of our voices when we are silent. by Malala Yastafazi. Yastafazi. It's, yeah. From I Am Malala. Yeah. And I have some books from John Green. Um, my favorite song verse lyric is by Demi Lovato. And it's the whole chorus of, uh, Warrior. And I wrote the year that this came out because I wanted to keep it. Um, more quotes. Kane Brown. This is a note to him, and I included a lot of personal information because I wanted to like write about how I felt. Because I can't open. I don't feel like I'm to that point where I can openly like. I don't censor myself in these letters. I sent well a little bit. I do. But I don't want to go back and remember because right now I'm in a, a serious depression because I suffer from PTSD and depression from childhood traumas. Um, but, um, 
yeah, um, there's that, and then the song Learning became brown. I love these little music notes. Learning. And then it ends right here, and this says KB, it fell, which I think is kind of cool. And then it says, there's another Nate Tacoon, which will be followed by his song, Granddaddy's Chair. And I wrote that there's a line in it about the grandfather. Um, my birth grandfather was, and my, well, all my grandfathers loved their wives very much, and I wanted to, like, document that. Um, and I, they love their wives in such a way that I don't think most men do nowadays. So I wrote about that, and then I wrote about songs that remind me of them. This, this one, oh, the bee just flew off. No, it didn't. It's right here. It just folded. I can't use it. It, it, it can go without the K and the B. But there's two songs on this one. It's called Lifer. One's called Lifer and one's called Grow Old. Um, there's the actual song. The title for it is right there. And then this is Family Birthdays. I have four families because I am adopted. Um, and this is just Family Birthdays. And they're not in order. They're just there. And then these are like special people that aren't family. That, you know, are not like friends either. They're like people that were in my life for a long time. Or that they mean something. Um, this is another one. Um, this. Funny story. My adopted dad's family is so small. This is where his starts. This is literally his. Okay, ready? 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 This is as long as his is. That's like my dad's family is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten people. Like, it's not very big at all. Um, my SVU thing, I love this. Um, SVU, I love the show. And I did, like, a character synopsis of every character. Like, how long they've been on the force. So on this page it's Marissa Hargate or Olivia Benson. And I have their people that call you. Then I have uh, Munch, John Munch. Then I have, his goes for a long time. Then I have Don Cragen, which plays the captain. And then I have Elliot Stabler, who is no longer on the show, but he's my favorite male character. And then I have Monique Jeffries, who was, was only on there for like two seasons. I honestly don't remember her very well. Finn Tutuola, who is played by Ice-T, but his real name on the show is Oda Finn. And I didn't know that until, like, and there's Alex Cabot, or Alexandra, and there's Melinda Warner, who is the, um, medical examiner, and then there's B.D. Wong, or G George Hong, George Wong, Wong, yeah. He's the, the psychologist, uh, Casey Novak, Amanda Rollins, Nick Amaro, and these three are relatively new. These three. Um, then I wrote what it means to me, and my favorite character of all time is Olivia. Um, but, yeah, um, then another private thing. I'm gonna hold it back here so you can't, like, read it. Read it. There's the poem. Go ahead and read it really quick. Um, the Women's March was on the 21st of, it was the day after the, election, the inauguration. I wrote this on the 23rd. These are cool. I'm not, like, these are Lisa Frank American flag hearts. Um, this is, like, what happened. And then these are, this is a list of people that went. I'm going to cover one of the names coming up soon. Um, that's falling out, so we're not going to keep that in there. Um, there's a list. There and the name I've got to cover is right there, like because that's what the one in the green is. The first one in green is my friend from high school. Um, then there was a question posed on one thing, so I answered it. This is Ashley Judge nasty woman speech, and I put one of these. I love these, love this sales, but I haven't had a reason to use it, and there's just. There's the rest of it, and there's, like, my feelings. Um, Anna Candace is a YouTuber. Um, 
has a channel called How Senseless Death, How Precious Life. And I, like, wrote something about how I've been subscribed to her. And then my favorite videos are her. And they take up the whole page except for some fun stickers. And she calls her viewers her sunflowers. And I'm a proud sunflower. And then this is a private note that I wrote her. You can't really read it because it's written in. I'm really surprised about how, like, straight my handwriting is. Guys, I really am. Like, there's that note. Then some journal prompts for days when I get bored. I have, like, six of them. And then this is a fun thing, I think. Well, fun for me. I Whenever I there's an article for something I watch on Netflix, which is what I'm watching right now. Um, this book movie was called Tallulah. It stars Ellen Page. And Alice and Janney and a girl named Tammy Blanchard, who I thought for a while was really, she might be related to Rowan Blanchard from Girl Meets World. I don't think so. Maybe. But, yeah. If you, it's, it's a good story. I mean, it's not like my favorite story of all time I've ever watched, but it has deeper meaning than what I thought it would. Um, it is a drama. Um, so there's the little girl in the Ellen Page. There's the synopsis and when I watched it and then there's my thoughts. Now get ready because this is huge. This is like these are the last couple pages. Um there's another one called I that I watched called The Investigator, a British Crime Story. And it was on a case of the case of Carol Hackman, who was murdered by her husband and he won't tell her daughter what the fuck's going on and it's been thirty years. This is dramatization of the daughter at the age when her mom died. Um, this was all one piece, but I cut it out. You could cut it out, yeah. But it goes from here to here. And I think I only mentioned like my true feelings in like one little part. And then there's this and this, and then this is my actual feelings. Where I basically tell him to go to hell. Things I want to watch, which in a couple minutes, which I can. Probably mark this out really soon. Is uh, Killer in the Family. It's like a mini series. I love it. Um, I watch. Bate I love Bates Motel and it's come back on February 20th. Um, I Zombie, I used to watch, but stopped. Jessica Jones, I watched like one thing of Dexter. It's eight seasons. I gotta start on that. Uh, Ghost Whisper, I loved. There's a lot of crimes, like crime things like. Amanda Knox, Killer Couples, Tabloid, I think that's a, I like a lot of stuff about true crime, even if they don't end up dead. And then there's just some random movies, that I, like things that I want to see, or things that I have seen, like I have seen, obviously I've seen Ghost Whisper, but uh, Lemonade Mouth from Disney Channel I watched, uh, Charlie St. Cloud I think I've seen a little, I don't think I've seen any of uh, Keith, I know I've seen like three minutes of, but it's, and they have some like documentaries and then some popular things like what's eating Gilbert grape, which I've heard about, but then stranger things and then supernatural. This is the end of the journal guys. There's Sam and Dean. If you're wondering why it's kind of sketchy, it's cause I have it covered with tape. So I hope they don't fade. Um, quotes. I will read that quote to you in a second. Um, and the last quote is, I'll keep fighting. I'll keep swinging until I got nothing left. Dean Winchester. And it says, end of journal five. And it's just that. The quote that I was reading, that I squared, because it's like one of the best quotes ever. Um, well, it's two of them. And I'll read them both. One is, a wise man once told me family don't end with blood, but it don't start, with it either. start there either. Family cares about you. Not what you can do for them. Family is there for the good, the bad, and all of it. They have your back, even when it hurts. That's family. Dean Winchester, Season 10, Episode 17, The Inside Man. Another one is from Season 1, and it's must be tough to believe in something so much and have it disappoint you. That's from Season 1, Episode 12, and it's called Faith. And then, yeah. And then there's the back cover. There's Joy, and this is glued in here. I'm going to put this journal up because it's falling apart. And my next journal 
So I already started decorating it. I know it's not technically a journal. I gotta put my stickers back in here. But it's this sketchbook. Um, I gotta put those back. But I decorated it a little bit. This is the front cover and this is the pocket. And then that's all I have so far. I have more stickers, but I'll probably start this one tomorrow. Um, yeah. And then, oh yeah, I said I'd show you my washi because I don't know if I've done that before. Um, I'll show you what I have. I'm about to. I'm gonna get a big set from Michaels or Hobby Lobby soon. I think it's Michaels. Okay, I have. This small roll of glitter, blue. I got this, and the next one I'm going to show you in a set from Dollar Tree at Christmas time. I got this blue. It comes with it quite a bit. I've used these two a lot. I keep them in this jar. This is washi. You can't read the part. So yeah, you can. And I have this one, and it's just silver. It's not coming up as glittery as it really is. Um. Then I have. I have a lot of pinks. I'm I'm surprised I have as many pinks. I have this ging this like plaid. Then I have this polka dot brown and yeah that one. These are from Dollar Tree. All mine are from Dollar Tree mainly, except for the one the two I'm gonna show you last. Um. I have the barber stripe, and this is one of the first tape I got. Like the first tape I got is gone. But this is one of the first steps, and it's blue, white, red, white, and blue stripe. And I've got cheetah print. And then I've got like chevron, rainbow. I've got um, like baby animals. I got these polka dots that are like multicolored. They're like pink and green and blue and purple. And then I got these two that are not from Dollar Tree. They are Scotch brand. And I'm almost out of this one. I'm going to have to get another one. It's Stripe. This is one I don't know what to, when to use. And I've got like only a little bit left. I've got like one more page left of this. And if I do those big pages, I ain't going to have but like half a page. And then my other one that even though I've used a little bit of is... That's why I got this for Christmas. Um, I hope that you like this, and I hope you, you'll come back. And if you're here from Instagram, thanks for coming. Bye.